Hell folks, Mr. Cheap Munch here. Welcome to Lads Lange. And today I've got for you an unboxing. You all know my hobby is tabletop gaming, and I have some very special unboxings for you. So come on, follow me, follow me, come on, come on, come down. Oh, hello there, I see you joined me. You came down. Look, I have Dark Eldar Cablight Warriors to unbox for you. <clears throat> yeah, these are of course Games Workshop for the Warhammer 40,000 game. And if you are interested in collecting Dark Elder, then you might want to know what's in the boxes. So I have this one here to unbox for you. These are one of the troops choices, and they do have quite a lot of different equipabilities in the list which is nice because it's always nice to have some variation in your squads and like Tao who can have only two different kinds of gun oh don't get me wrong I collect Tao, I like Tao but they are a very basic army Dark Elder though are a thinking man's army. You really do have to think on your feet to play these. Alright, first off we have ten rain bases. These ones do not include slots. Because the Dark Elder Cadillac Warriors legs are apparently strong enough to just be glued on. And the sprues Oh, what else is in here? Uh, lovely instructions. Just in case you didn't know how to stick them together just by looking. There's a back there's some of the uh, nice weapon options you can give. If you know what a noise is, it is the cheap munch dog trying to invade my video again. <laughs> yeah, there are some nice uh, weapon options and also head options for the Dark Elder you know a squad of 20 so two boxes is a full squad and two boxes also give you the maximum amount of weapons that you're actually allowed to have on the models so first up we have a look at this sprue You've got five sets of legs on here. And Buzz, if you're coming in, come in. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of options. The backs are, of course. Yes, hello. And there you go, trapped out here with me. So, right there, folks. Just the cheap munch dog trying to make his own fame. But yeah, there's an uh, uh, incredible amount of options on the uh, Dark Eldar Sprue. Got two backs with the holes in, so you can stick standard bearers, even though they don't have you know standards or anything. Got the fronts of the bodies, which are all nicely crafted. Got all the uh, weapons as a splinter cannon. Um, some splinter guns. Sorry, it's not focusing very well, folks. You know, let me stick my hand behind there. There we go. I mean, the Dark Eldar models are some of the. I mean, they're the smallest, but they're also some of the best models I've seen modeled from anything. I mean, they really took their time modeling these so well, so much detail on them all. have the second sprue with more weapon options got the agonizer whip, a power weapon another splinter rifle we've got that 2 plus poison pistol I think they can have that anyway I'm not 100% sure a blast pistol uh, more leggy options um, 
more body options. That one's kind of witchy there, with the uh, zippy type bit on the front. Um, more weapons, splinter rifles, splinter rifles, haywire blaster, normal blaster. I think that's a haywire blaster anyway, or is that when like the uh, the Aldar and the spiders have five eight monofilament web. You have a good selection of the heads, which I'll actually show you from the front. Very nice heads there. Some back decorations. And there we have the Dark Lance, which I will probably be equipping on my Dark Elder. And of course we have the instruction book on how to stick them all together. Although I'm quite sure most people know how to do that. I suppose I should let you out of the kitchen now. I'm almost done with the video. There folks. Um price wise, that galder are also like some of the cheaper boxes that you can get hold of. Um I think these are around about £18 a box. I might be a bit wrong on that. Maybe 22 I'm not sure. Between 18 to 22 in Games Workshop. But I got them for £15.50 off of the site I get them from. So yeah. Like these are the meat and two veg of your army. Unless you're going for a witch cult. I mean, I, I am going mostly for witches in my army. But I'm having these guys just so that I... I have a nice squad of things that can actually take care of stuff through shooting. So yeah, um, hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and I shall see you guys on the next unboxing. Please like, subscribe and all that good stuff down there. And I've been Mr Cheap Munch and I shall see you folks on the next Cheap Munch. Bye.